shut up. I mean, keep talking. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. What can we say? She's an icon. The self-proclaimed queen of all media did not always have a huge dedicated TV audience. She came from much more humble beginnings in hip-hop radio. However, it was her penchant for gossip and earth-shattering scoops that earned her a following in pop culture. Before she asked us how you doing, Wendy Williams was just a Jersey girl from Ocean Township, New Jersey in Asbury Park, born on July 18, 1964. Wendy Williams attended Northeastern University from 1982 and worked at her college station, WRBB, as a DJ. She graduated in 1986 with a Bachelor's of Science in Communications. That same year, she got her start in radio professionally at WVLS at the Virgin Islands. In 1991 and 1992, Bill Cosby, whom Williams affectionately refers to as Pill Cosby, tried to get her fired for discussing his alleged sexual yep, assault scandals. Yup, 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 yup. He tried to ruin my career back in the early, this is nothing, to, no, this is nothing to laugh or clap about. I've told you this before, but uh, I was one of the, I was doing, I've been doing hot topics for a long time, you all, okay? Back in the early 90s, and I talked about Bill Cosby and his behavior on the radio. And he, big shot Bill Cosby, calls the boss of the radio station, the big boss, and they have a, you know, a guy conversation. You know, and I didn't get fired because I'm bringing in ratings, but what I did get was Bill Cosby calling and trying to do me in. And I, back then, a young Wendy was already on the beat before being on the beat, on the beat. And nobody believed what I was saying, reporting the stories, not being a victim of. In 2018, Cosby was found guilty of three felony counts of aggravated sexual assault against Andrea Constant. By 1993, she earned a Billboard Award for Best On-Air Radio Personality for her work at WRKS in New York. In 1994, the station switched to Hot 97, and she was fired in 1998. By 2001, she was at WBLS and back in New York to rave reviews on her 2 to 6 p.m. slot. New York Times wrote that, quote, The show works best when its elements, confessional paired with snarkiness, are conflated. It cited her infamously expletive-filled interview with Whitney Houston in 2003. The eight days or taking them away from watching TV to, you know, see how long... I do what I do to protect my daughter, Wendy, just like you would do to protect your son, okay? All right. You are very defensive, Whitney. I have to be, Wendy. You talk about me every f***ing day. Well, Whitney... And every other day. Whitney, you, you keep yourself in the headlines. No, Wendy. Y'all keep me in the headlines. I mind my business. I try to maintain what I got. I want to know what I'm doing all the time. I don't give a shit about what you're doing all the time. As long as you're healthy and God is blessing you and you're doing the right thing and being a decent person, I can handle that. By 2008, she was syndicated and granted with a show by VH1 called The Wendy Williams Experience, where she showed a behind-the-scenes look at a radio program. He's one of the biggest names in music right now. His latest release, Graduation, sold almost one million copies in its first week, and he had a major freak-out session at the VMAs this year. After not winning his award, open the door, please, for the king of hip-hop, Kanye West. Don't be nervous. Nice to see you. Ow. Hey. Up in the sky. You like that joint? You know what? I really do. Now let's talk about what you're wearing today. First of all, I didn't realize it was cold enough out for a wool scarf and a slightly padded jacket. She also got approved for a six-week sneak peek for the Wendy Williams show. Okay, John, let's do it. Wow! <laughs> wow, this is great. I love it. It's edgy, girly, fashionable, and grown up. She not only got picked up, but was also inducted into the National Radio Hall of Fame in 2009. Hello, are you there? Yes, I am. Hello, I'm Bruce Dumont, and I'm calling from Chicago. I am chairman of the National Radio Hall of Fame, and I'm calling to let you know that you have been selected for induction into America's only National Radio Hall of Fame. She is currently in season 12 of her talk show, and like every other show, now on YouTube primarily. Although she was always heading in that arena, 
Posting hot topics, even full episodes on YouTube was a norm for her. I, I hate to say that, but I was talking to a girlfriend of mine who also has Corona. And she said, Wendy, I've lost 10 pounds. And that's the good news. Yeah. She was so is. happy. Throughout the show's long history, she had a lot of standout pop culture moments, and of course, she infuriated a lot of people. Anyway, look. So I'm reading the article, nobody else's name is brought up. Then I run across what the couple found most, oh, wait, excuse me, it's in the Enquirer. You gotta, you gotta show the cover for legal reasons. And here's the article. Okay, uh, what the couple found most difficult to deal with, says another source, was the fact that some of the rumors were being perpetuated by people they considered friends, like talk show host Wendy Williams. Well, first of all, you're not a credible source, because if you were, then you would know, I've never partied with them, I've never been to their house, I don't swim in their pool. Like, we're not friends, I'm a pop culture pundit and, and uh, uh, um, commentator, right? That's what you call it? <laughs> pop culture woman, and I talk about people. This documentary is the next installment to my Biographia docuseries. I've added it to a convenient playlist to watch back to back, uninterrupted. Now, let's continue. You can't talk Wendy without talking celebrity beef. In her radio days, fellow radio host Angie Martinez put hands on Wendy and former R&B group Total tried to jump her. I remember I got off the air one day and them, <laughs> them Total bitches were downstairs waiting and everybody upstairs at the radio station is looking down, egging it on, waiting for something to go down. I wasn't yet married. My knight in shining armor screeched up in his car just out of nowhere. Didn't even know. I didn't even know what was about to happen. Skell hiding like a girl. <laughs> Thanks, Skell. I'm standing in the door like what? And I'm literally about to go through now. I'm not like what, like what, let's fight. Cause I'm not one of those type of broads. And plus there was three of them. Several beasts followed her on her show and some even developed on live TV. Her passive aggressive exchange with Omarosa is a classic by now. Yeah. Now did you have a nose job? No. It looks like you had a nose job. No. Oh, okay. No, I mean, I just looked at before and after. Honey, before and after. Before and after pictures. But but if I can suggest, because the only thing that I've had done to my face is a little Botox, I would suggest for you some wrestling. The lines stay. They say good blood goes crack. She's cracking. And I would suggest, and I would suggest a wig that doesn't sit off my head three inches. That would be my suggestion. Controversy does not escape Miss Williams. From mocking Beyonce's pregnant belly fold. The baby bump squashed, bent, and crumpled. To sexualizing Kim K's assault. Either way, it's very scary if she in fact was bound at her ankles and bound at her hands. <laughs> and dumped in the bathtub by five guys. And they only spoke French. <sighs> to telling gay men stop wearing it's our dresses wearing our to her most recent one about Drew Carey's murdered ex who was shoved from a balcony, come on down. There are literally dozens, if not hundreds of examples of Wendy doing this and getting a laugh at that. Even back on the radio, she exposed rapper Method Man's sick wife. Is she all right now? I'd like to thank Wendy Williams for bringing that to the masses because she didn't have to go on the radio and say that shit. I like to keep stuff like that private, but yeah, she was sick. And she outed presumably several closeted celebrities. We come from a very homosexual era of hip hop as well. Uh, there was a radio personality once upon a time, her name was Wendy Williams, and uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. And now it's all come full circle. And she's still dropping not so subtle hints about people's sexuality. Why is Kanye looking at him like that? However, as a talk show host, she has also had very brilliant moments as well, like her recent interview with Robin Crawford, former friend and lover of Whitney Houston. You were gonna jump me? We were gonna, we were gonna go, we didn't know what you looked like. Okay. And, our, and our plan was to go down to Hudson Street and squat like Kali, wait for you, right outside. Robin, I can't even fight. I would have run. She was the first to not only interview Cardi B, but also to reveal and confirm her pregnancy from a studio audience member. I still don't think she's pregnant. I think that this is, a, is she pregnant? Excuse me, you know for a fact? 
Well, excuse me. Excuse me. Move over. Move over. Move over. Move over. What was she wearing? Like a high-waisted skirt, I think. Uh -huh. I mean, she was try trying to cover it. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. But she's pregnant. She's pregnant. When's the last time you saw her? That was like a couple months ago. Case closed, people. Yeah. Thank you. Her personality is insane, and she very well may be insane as well. From lifting her wigs to reveal hidden objects, or even using her wig as both tissue and a weapon. How to take my? You make me cry. I'm gonna hit you with my wig. I swear I'm gonna hit you with my wig. The culture of the show has become one of the real recognizable staples that makes it stand out from other shows that appear to be too serious. Wendy's environment, although glamorous and sparkly, is pretty casual and naturally funny without forced in written comedy. Her right-hand woman and producer Suzanne has become a fan favorite and she can often be just as shady, if not more so, than Williams herself. <laughs> Suzanne, you're like Kelly Ripa of the hood. <laughs> I love it. Wendy, I am Neil Armstrong. I'm the first man to step on the moon. Yes. Yes, In 1969. Yes, mm -hmm. 1969. I remember that, Suzanne. You do? Yes, I do. I wasn't born yet. Well, I, bra <laughs> bragging. That was a read. Our other producer, Norman, has just as much personality to match. Today show? I did watch the Today Show. And how was it? Mm. <laughs> One of her most iconic segments, besides the daily hot topics, it's Ask Wendy, where strangers reveal a bit too much about themselves. How are you? I don't know. <laughs> how you doing? Who are you? I'm good, how you doing? Uh, my name is Rob. I'm a student from Long Island, New okay. York, mm -hmm. um, and I really need your help. Okay. So I love my boyfriend like so much, but there's this issue that we're having because he has this really unhealthy relationship with Nicki Minaj. <laughs> so no, I love Nicki so much, okay? But he has this Twitter account like for barbs where- How old are you? I'm 19. Okay, and how old is he? 20, like two days ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, so he fights people online. Like, he's blocked by Cardi B, he's blocked by Little Kim <laughs> on Instagram. Well, yeah, so I mean, like, I support everything he wants to support, and like, everyone has their likes and dislikes, but like. What is your question, dear? Do I, like, he's interfering with our relationship. Nikki is, so what, what do I do? Do I leave him or do You're I? You're only 19. This should not leave him. If, oh. if, if this is the what? deal breaker at 19. Should I? Because he's in the audience. I feel that. Oh. I don't know what to do now. Well, where is he? He's over there in the brown sweater. <laughs> you know what? What? To be 19 is so fun. Okay, then fine, stay with him. But okay. realize this. The nation comes before you. Okay. The nation of um, the Navy. No, the bar. The, the beehive. The bar. No, not the beehive. The bars. <laughs> um, we'll be back. They're not shady. They're just Wendy-fied. And the show would not be complete without her equally shady cameramen, who live to catch people off guard or match their shot with what Wendy just said. All my girls are pretty. In case, in case you haven't noticed. Her catchphrase, how you doing, comes all the way from her radio days, and it is actually a slogan to imply a man is gay. Wendy and the LGBT community have a tattered relationship, albeit but a solid and recognizable one. She's on one. the phone, she's married to a possible bisexual man. I'm not too sore about it. I asked him and of course he denied it, but um, you know, we had some extra fun sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> and one of that, you know, I saw him did something I was too fond of. What did your husband do that made you uncomfortable? Wendy, he went down. Down where? Other guy. Well, he's oh, gay. God dang, Luke. Stupid. What more do you need to know, you donkey? How you doing? How you doing? He considered like having extra fun. Um, he didn't admit it to me. I was. I Lucy, stop it! Denial is a river in Egypt. Your <laughs> husband is gay. He's a. He's. Guys, if you want to stay, there's nothing wrong with it. To each his own when it comes to relationships, Lucy. Um, Lucy? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. All right. I, I don't did. like talking about husbands, right, Wendy? Well, I don't mind talking about husbands. I don't mind. He's fabulous. Okay. 
Um, Roseanne, Roseanne has done. However, Wendy's life is not only full of laughter. Recently, she went through a messy divorce with former husband Kevin Hunter, legally known as Kelvin Hunter. The pair married in 1997 and divorced in 2017 due to Hunter's infidelity and a child with mistress Sharina Hudson. The two share a child, Kevin Hunter Jr., together. She opened up about her divorce on fellow talk show veteran The View. Now, um, in April, you filed for divorce from your husband. Correct. Kevin. After nearly 22 years of marriage. Correct. And, uh, and 25 years being together. Being together. Correct. And um, because of his infidelity. Oh, well. Yeah. You know, infidelity is one thing. A full baby is a whole other topic. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you said you said in the New York Times Magazine, I'm a very forgiving person, but there's one thing I could never be a part of, and that one thing happened. Mm-hmm. Well, and well. That, and that was it. Yeah. The baby did it. A baby. I, I'm not changing pampers. I want to be pampered. Yeah. <laughs> Wendy also suffers from several health issues including vertigo, Graves' disease, and lymphedema. She was also very candid about her past cocaine addiction and shared she had stayed in a halfway house during her divorce drama. She is featured in my first documentary titled Hollywood's Drug Problem. For some time now, and even today and beyond, I have been living in a sober house. When you see me come to work, glammed up right after the show. I go across the street, I do my Pilates. I told you two hours a day, I like to take care of my body. And you know I've had a struggle with cocaine in my past. And I never went to a place to get the treatment. I don't know how, except God was sitting on my shoulder and I just stopped. Wendy as a pop culture icon is still endearing and timeless. Let's face it, whether you think her delivery is cruel or not, she is one of the most prevalent pop culture figures. So much so that a celebrity is not really a celebrity unless they make it onto Hot Topics because she talks about everyone, from Z to D, and even A-listers who we know and love. She even recently earned a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2019. So what is the future of Miss Williams? If we ever see her trot to her purple throne as the queen of Hot Topics, will she be met with grace? Or in this increasingly PC world where people not have time for one of the few real shock chockets left that can actually say what they want? If you enjoyed this video, press like, comment your favorite Wendy Williams shady moment, and subscribe and hit the bell for more. I will be doing more biographical documentaries on this channel and you can rewatch this one in my playlist Biographia. Doc U, subscribe to join the U universe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm. I can't. Get out. Oh my god, I gotta do that thing for Nickelodeon. Oh my god.